Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video today where we are going to be building the Outback Burger Shack. That was a bit difficult to say actually, I don't know why I named it that, a bit of a tongue twister but I thought it went well and thought it sounded good. But yeah it basically is what the name suggests, it's a burger shack in the Outback so it's a bit like a, a gourmet uh, burger restaurant slash takeaway shop but based in the outback of australia hence the um the biome we're using is the new australian dlc biome and yeah we start with the sign and i wanted this sign to look quite authentic and um, realistic basically and i wanted to make a burger and put the burger text in the middle a bit like as if the burger text with the meat and then we're adding the lettuce on the top now as you can see and we have our stripper cheese to add as well um, this build actually took me longer than I thought it would and the reason being is that I really wanted to spend a lot of time on the little bits of detailing and just get things looking authentic realistic and well detailed and yeah there was bits where I wasn't happy so I changed and I've skipped most of the boring bits and the bits were I've literally just stayed looking at the game wondering what the hell do I do next <laughs> but uh, yeah I've skipped those bits because I'm sure you don't want me just staying stationary looking at a burger sign thinking mm, how do I do this but yeah I hope you enjoy this build I really enjoyed building it it's very unique and different to what I normally build and I've never actually built a custom well apart from the shipping container dining one I've done I've never built like a restaurant type build before in Planet Zoo and I'm just take ones off the workshop or just leave them as the, the custom ones they are what we're given I've never like built a shop front and like dining area so to speak so it was nice to do it was a nice little change a um, little bit of variety for me as you can see we just added the seeds there to our bun which looks really good most of the items when I'm making this sign are um, from the shape section if they're not from the shape section I normally use the small pieces of wood I, I believe they're the Asian style wood but they're great honestly that's what I used for the lettuce um, and I think that's also what I used for the cheese in the end and it comes out looking pretty good the seeds again really happy with how the seeds come out I wasn't actually going to put seeds in the bun but I ended up doing and I'm glad I did and I wanted to add a little like background to make the sign pop out a little bit more so I just added a plain black ground as you can see I'm just raising part of the background up so it cuts off the rest of the burger from the bottom so it looks like looks a bit more realistic because at the bottom of a burger it's not round is it so I wanted to cut it off make it flat uh, but we had no shapes what I could do that with so I had to cut it off with another black piece of shape what blends into the background um, and that's pretty much our sign nearly done so I thought about getting the foundation in I needed to flatten the um, the land as you just saw there is it me comment down below if, if you've noticed this as well with the new update and the new biome but it's quite hard to see hills and raises in the terrain in the new biome in the desert I, I don't know it might just be me but I'm struggling to see so I had to make sure everything was flat so I was building on a flat surface and the sign is really coming together now nearly done with it and it's time to get our foundation in as well now I didn't really know what to go with for the foundation of this building I had no like um, plan in my head I just kind of winged it and sometimes in Planet Zoo that's the best thing to do because if you just have a little play about and you, and, and you try to wing it and try to see what looks good as you're doing it sometimes them are the best builds and what comes out looking really good and in this case it did um, comment down below if you what kind of techniques do you use prior to a build do you search images on Google do you draw out a plan with a pen and paper I know a lot of people do that um, 
but me, I like to just kind of freestyle it and just try to go with the floor. Um, and I have more fun that way as well. Um, I'd like a bit of experiment rather than um, a planned idea of what I was going to do. Um, I build planters around the edge and that's what you can see me doing here. And I love plants in this game. Foliage in this game can make any build look amazing. If you just build something, try it out, just build something, and then if you don't like the look of it, just start adding loads of planters, maybe a bit of water, which you'll see me do later as well, we do have water in this build, and just start adding loads of foliage and add the mulch and, and loads of trees and plants and rocks as well, rocks are really good. It really fills out a build and completes a build for me. I think all builds that have a lot of foliage and a lot of rocks and stuff like that because it makes it stand out feels like it's more complete more natural and yeah it gives it that whole completed feel to a build which i really like i decided to use the shipping container pieces what came with the new australia dlc um, again i didn't plan on using these i wanted to use all plaster but i think these turned out looking really good and blending in really well with the kind of vibe we was going for. Um, if you want this build in your zoo, down below in the description box there will be a steam link. Um, click on that steam link, you can download it and use it straight away. The steam link will be live as soon as this video goes live, so if you're watching it now then the steam link is live. Um, I'm going to chill out now for a bit and let also you chill out for a bit and be quiet and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the speed build I'll probably catch you in the end or if I don't speak in the end it'll be like a little um, cinematic of the whole build of the whole finished product so yeah sit back relax if you've got any questions drop me a comment any queries drop me a comment um, I would love it if you could like this video, it helps me grow the channel and helps me um, be more motivated to build stuff and add stuff to the workshop for you lovely guys and girls. Subscribe if you follow Planet Zoo Builds and you love the game as much as I do. My name's Adam, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you in the next one.